Hey guys, my name is Grant Shepard. I'm with the Niagara River Lions. I play as a center. We're here at Hourglass Barber Shop. You're tuning into Court Buzz. <laughs> Kelowna BC, it was, it was nice, it was very nice, um, a lot of family around, I think people go there to, to retire usually, so it's like a lot of, a lot of families established there, um, it's a good place to grow up for sure, especially in the summers, it's a lot of fun. I fell in love with the game of basketball in grade 6, my grandpa introduced me to it, um, so I have him to thank for that. Um, but ever since then, yeah, I just fell in love with the game and just been trying to get as much out of it as I can and put a, as much of my energy and hard work into it. I'd say my biggest inspiration growing up was my mom. Um, she definitely worked very hard to, to make sure we were all happy no matter the circumstance, no matter the stress in life. She always took care of us always gave me and my sister opportunities, especially to play sports and, and be happy, so I'm always thankful for that. My fondest high school basketball memory has to be our grade 11 championship in, uh, in BC. We won, uh, we had an undefeated season and we, we went all the way through and we won the championship with a squad that beforehand the last year we, we lost in the in the semi so it was, it was a good turnaround. I started to recognize my basketball potential in grade seven I'd say grade seven or eight. Um, I really started to take it seriously then I started to take more trips and you know sacrificing my summers to get better at the game and then seeing the improvements the next year it really it really uh, propelled me forward and, and got me to take everything more serious. And since then, it's been a blessing. It's, it's, it's tough. It's, a lot of people compare it to D1, I'd say. Um, in terms of practices and daily schedule, it's a lot of similar stuff. Um, the only big difference is we don't have usually as, as, much, as much money, you know, like there's less scholarship less, um, maybe less food, things taking care of you. So it's a bit tougher. You have to learn how to take care of yourself first, but then the rest is, you know, we're on par with the workload, the school, everything else is as D1. So it's more or less the same. Um, I made the move mostly, mostly because of, of my personal values about culture, um, I really want to learn how it takes, how it, what it takes to win to the full extent, and I think that Carlton can teach me that. Winning uh, Canada West, Canada West Rookie of the Year, it definitely encouraged me. Um, in my first and second year, I felt like I made some of the biggest jumps. So that summer. Um, I really had my head on straight. I really, I worked hard. I improved my game a lot, um, and I was, I was happy to see that that coaches in the league had trust in me as a player and and knew what I have potential to be to to be as a player in the future. That was again. Playing for the senior men's national team again is a blessing. Always, um, um, I'm really, I'm really proud of it, and the fact that they put my trust or their trust in me early in the career, knowing that somewhere down the road they might need me, and so I, I want to fulfill that responsibility of of being ready when they call me next time. <laughs> Best player. That's actually a really good question. I'd say the best team I've ever played is Team Australia in the Commonwealth Games in the in the finals. That was in 20, 2018. 
they're they're very just professional, well put together. They've been playing together for many many years, and they had a lot of their uh, NBA or high level pro guys. So just as a team, uh, uh, as a whole, it was it was a beautiful thing to watch. I learned a lot about <laughs> just professional basketball playing against them. I think what excites me most about this season is uh, being able to come in and connect and learn from the guys. Um, not only for me learning, but also I see that we have potential and we have we have a good chance of going all the way and winning. Um, I think we're showing glimpses here and there of, of what we can become and what we can show as a final product. Um, so hopefully we can put that together pretty quick in these next couple of games and, and, and prove it that we can go all the way through. I want to be remembered as someone who, who leads by example, um, on and off the court, you know, with character, with with their morale um, but then on the court is definitely like I, I, I'm not going to tell anyone to do anything that I haven't done already or or plan to do um, yeah just promote good culture between everyone that's what I want to do I think one people don't know about me is maybe my like the extent of my my crazy or weird side I think a lot of times I'm quiet but I do have that, that energy, I do have that weirdness side of me that a lot of people could enjoy, but it just takes a while to come out. Our guy Antwi, he says, never too high, never too low. I think that's just a really good, quick, to the point saying um, in life, you may be going through a tough time, but it's never too low once you go think about it. In the end, you always take something good away from it. And the same thing with the highs, you know, like might be the best experience of your life, but you can still, you can, there's still gonna be better opportunities. There's still gonna be more things out there. So it's just about keeping a level head. I think if I was playing basketball, I'd either be playing baseball or soccer. And then if it wasn't a sport, I'd probably be an engineer. I like I like designing things. I like uh, creating things, being being creative, and using my mind like that. Um, yeah, definitely building, engineering, something like that. No, but I would say I model my game after a lot of different players because you know I'm not um, I'm not like a heavy set post just playing in the post, only a center, I can shoot, I can dribble, I can drive, like I'm, I feel like I'm pretty versatile, so I, I take things from a lot of different people. Um, yeah. I think the last game of the season, Ottawa game, will be a really good one. Um, they've gotten a lot of new guys. One of them I know, Jane Cohee, um, so it'll be fun to play against him. Uh, my, my current teammate, Alain Louis, he's the point guard. Uh, I think that last game of the season will be a really good one. Uh, and it'll be a telltale of how the championship weekend goes too for us. Um, I bring, bring energy, I'm young. Um, bring positivity, try to remind and talk to everybody. Um, to keep their head in game, so, yeah, spread the good, the good culture around the team. Um, again, try to lead by example. Try to get in the gym, uh, even if nobody else is going. Uh, just do, try to do all the little things any way I can help. Can't travel without my headphones. I need music on the plane. I need music to go to bed. Anything like that. Yeah, just need my music. Uh, honestly, I, I listen to a lot of my, my friends that rap uh, pre-game. I, I like their music, but if it's an actual established rapper, I'd say, you know, Trippy Red, I'd say J. Cole, um, Drake, obviously. Uh, I have a few, like, key songs that get me going. But 
Yeah. Anything pasta and Caesar salad, I'd say. Pasta and Caesar salad. Nike. Coffee. I've only been on one train, but train. Uh, dining. Chocolate. Apple. Depends on the day, but for me, usually R&B, actually, yeah. PlayStation. G-Way. LeBron. I'll take a game-winning block. <laughs> it suits me better, I feel like. Hey guys, we're done here at Hourglass. Just got cleaned up. Fresh fade. Feeling nice for tomorrow's game. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.